this is Mike Gaben and welcome to Sandbox Saturday. In Sandbox Saturday, what I'm going to be doing is instead of playing my usual career mode, which uh, people who follow this channel know I love career mode, but instead what I'm going to be doing is playing in, well, Sandbox mode. And each time in Sandbox mode, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set myself a little challenge. Maybe not quite so little, we'll have to see how it goes. And... Uh, see if I cannot meet said challenge and this challenge actually is connected to what's going on in my career mode game but I think to talk about it I need to get into the space plane hangar and in the my most recent career mode game I built myself a little rocket sled for let me see if I can find it there it is a little rocket sled for a contract and the rocket it's not really a rocket sled though is it because a rocket sled is something that really should be on rails and moves along the ground but I'm gonna stick with the name rocket sled it's really a rocket glider and Bill took this thing for a spin for a contract to uh, well build a rocket glider had to use rockets to get up to I think this thing got up to an altitude of about a kilometer and then the booster detaches and then you had to fly it down to the surface um yeah, and that was that was it oh and it had to have a command seat and at the time i said to myself oh i was thinking of making something suborbital but then as soon as i got saw that it had a command seat i i kind of whipped out on that and then i started thinking you know what why do i should i wimp out right what you know this thing didn't really specify an altitude i need to get to let's see this is the challenge i want to give to myself what i want to get this little part here, the plane part, I want this to get into space. Now, you might be saying, that doesn't sound so tough, thing only weighs just over half a ton. How hard can it be to get it into orbit? Well, I'm going to stay true to where I'm at in my career mode right now. So that means a number of things. Number one, I'm staying true to the contract. Contract said the pilot had to be in a command seat. Pilot's going to be in a command seat. No cockpit or anything like that. And no engines on the way down. It's got to glide all the way down and land safely. Now, the no command or no cockpit is actually going to add in an extra bit of a challenge because of mods I have installed chiefly Kerbalism. Kerbalism adds a life support component to this. I've actually not put a Kerbal yet into space. I'm not 100% sure how that works, but I do know that uh, our pilot being only in their spacesuit is going to offer some restrictions, and uh, that's going to be a big one. That leads into another thing I'm going to restrict myself to the parts that I have thus far unlocked on the tech tree and the tech tree is from a mod called the Unkerbled mod and the Unkerbled mod starts with very small parts so a lot of the parts you might be used to seeing early on in the um, in a campaign mode actually aren't available to me yet I have very very small parts and finally I'm gonna stay true to where I'm at as far as the buildings go. Uh, I'm up to a tier two VAB, but only a tier one launch pad. So that means I'm not that restricted as far as part count goes, but because of the launch pad, I am restricted to an 18 ton mass limit. So to force me to stay sort of true to this, I'm gonna stay, use only the lifters that I have developed so far in my career mode. If I take a look at, da, 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 that's what I'm looking for. I have a number of boosters here that I have constructed. I'm going to stick kind of with these boosters. So there is, the, the numbers here tell us what payload these are allowed to lift. So it looks like, you know, I, I should be able to get this done. 530 kilograms and I can lift up to just over a ton into orbit. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I, I really do think re-entry and life support might be the biggest issues here but we're gonna switch this over to the uh, VAB so my first goal is let's see if we can just get into space and glide back down without killing our pilot and my second goal upon completion of that hopefully upon successful completion of that if that all works um, we're going to 
Uh, see if we can put it in an orbit, go around, do a single orbit, single time around. I'm not going to guarantee it's going to spend the whole time out. We're going to do a uh, Yuri Gagarin type of orbit <laughs> and come back here and land near the KSC. Uh, these little spindly landing gear could easily be an issue uh, because um, they don't stand up to too much. So on re-entry, I can see these being an issue. I'm going to give myself permission to ditch it in the water if these go. Let's see here. Let's, uh, let's start relatively smallish. Let's start with this and put you on here. See what that's going to be like. Obviously, I have to adjust this fairing a little bit. We'll see how this fly. Alrighty, alrighty, ready. Okay, let's uh, get our victim, I mean our volunteer here. And you know, in the, uh, I had Bill fly this thing because both of my pilots were not available for duty <laughs> because of uh, they were resting from their previous flight. So we're going to use Bill again. Bill is going to be our brave, brave pilot. Well, the goal here is to simply go straight up and just get into space. That's it, barely. So, staging, check your staging. I think my staging is all good. Let's do it. And we're going up. Going up, going up, going up, going up, going up. Not exactly sure why I have all of these. I guess maybe I'm not used to sandbox mode. Do you have the. Oh! all the time? Bill's not a pilot. I guess it doesn't matter. Okay. That's fine. We're just gonna go up. Keep an eye on Apoaps. So far, so good. Getting ready to stage those boosters. Go. On to the next one. Working on hammers. Hammer boosters are my biggest... Oh, all those of them crashing into each other. Hopefully they won't. We are going straight up, so they're actually going to eventually hit the KSC too, but... Oh well. <laughs> Yeah, hammer boosters are my biggest boosters if you're not following my career mode. So I'm, uh, Unkerbled Start does want you to start small, so this is very big for me. Getting into space shouldn't be a problem. Getting back down, we will just have to see how that goes. I think, no, we're gonna change that. Just a little bit more. Apoapsis at 80 kilometers. There we go, we're gonna cut that. That's it. Quite a lot of Delta V still left. This tank wasn't full. That's why my Delta V wasn't very high. That's all. Put this on terrain for our landing. All right, we can lose our fairing. Oh no, Bill, 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 Bill. Okay, Bill, 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 Bill. 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 Uh, Bill. Bill. Why do we... Yeah. Why do... Okay, this run really badly. <laughs> Why do I not have RC? Okay, I'm in the... I don't have... Oh, he has no monopropellant. Bill has no monopropellant. 
So Bill has no ability to maneuver himself. That must be Kerbalism again. In Kerbalism, they get the mono propellant from the capsule. They use the actual RCS propellant from the capsule when they go EVA. Uh, oh dear. <laughs> we're off to an auspicious start, but we're going to see if we can not get Bill not to die. That is our goal. We can deploy his chute. He does have a parachute. Unless by some miracle he comes close enough to the uh, to the uh, bump, 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 his his uh, rocket sled to grab hold of it, I don't think that's going to be very likely. <laughs> okay, let's let's time warp a little bit here. Oh, the shock of that fairing! Bill suffocated to death. Okay, let's... This is my first time putting a Kerbal into space. And I think Bill is already dead. Oh, dear. I'm sorry, Bill. He doesn't look that dead does he died happy <laughs> oh why'd that happen okay I gotta check resources and stuff take a look at Kerbalism will there even be a corpse left for, every, for people to bury no okay, I'm gonna try it just one more time and this time I'm gonna keep a Closer eye on Bill. Bill Kerman can't breathe. Bill Kerman can't breathe. That is not a good thing. Yeah. Yeah, being in the seat still does not help Bill out. There's just no way to give him... I wonder if I can stick on if there are oxygen tanks or something like that. Small pressurized tank. with oxygen in it. Well, he doesn't need much. But I suspect he doesn't have access to it. Alright, um... I doubt those tanks are going to do anything for us. But, we'll see. Kerbalism might not let me do what I want to do. And oh now it says we have a oh it says we have eleven days of oxygen. Of course CO2 might still kill him, but we have eleven days of oxygen. So it is f counting that, maybe? Hopefully, Bill. What do you think? So these zero percentages are good. I've determined that. Zero percent are good percents because it's percentage towards there being a problem. I think. This is when he got to a hundred percent problem on his breathing that he died. Oh. So maybe that inclusion of an oxygen tank. Oh, we might not be dead yet. We'll see. Well, it clearly doesn't need as much oxygen as he has. And I've not received any warnings. I think by now I've gotten warnings before. Okay, we can lose the fairing. And uh, what's our apoapsis? Yes, we can lose the rocket engine. So we are now a glider. 
What do you think, Bill? How we doing? No warnings. I think Bill is actually... Now, can he use... There's the oxygen. He's got tons of it. I can take a lot of that out. Can he use... He's got EVA propellant. I don't know if he has a way of accessing that. So I don't think so. No. All right, whatever. But we are... So I think this is not doing anything for me, but the oxygen absolutely is. Now comes the question. Can Bill survive re-entry? I am feeling good now. I am feeling good. All right, Bill, we're going down. Okay, we're hitting the atmosphere. And we want to slow down. So I'm just going to go straight down like this. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Proof of concept, I think. Any of these percentages on their way up? No. Bill's not even stressed. <laughs> We are still speeding up. Okay, so I did kind of cheat a little bit in that I do not think this oxygen tank is... Uh, I have unlocked that yet, so in my career mode. So I am cheating a little bit. Oh, we're getting a little bit of turbulence. A little bit of turbulence we are. Whoa. Well, that's about it. Ah! Okay, we can start to pitch down now. Yeah, let's, let's stay under this down barrier. <laughs> we'll just keep doing this do this stall we're up pretty high let's speed things along well, I don't know we might have this Bill is doing pretty good no warnings coming oh, we should See if we can just go into a sort of a spiral here. I want to see if we can put it on the runway. Oh, we have this. We have this. Oh, Bill. Awesome. A little bit of oxygen, and he is all set. Put on chase mode. We're in a plane now. Gotta not let this stall. This thing's very light. It will stall easily. So we gotta keep our speed up. Oh, I'm not sure I got the legs to make it to the runway. But I think that might be my only issue. Keep your speed up, Bill. I know we're close to the ground. We, uh, yeah, are just, uh, we're not making the runway. That's okay. Here, we'll just go beside the runway. 
misjudge this a little bit, but to be honest, I don't care. Here, here, up. Flare a little bit. Flare up. There, we're down. Awesome. So, there we go. We went into space, we came back, Bill is still alive. We're going to call that a success. So, back to vehicle assembly. We're alive again. We are alive again. Now, we're going to do an orbit. That is going to be the goal of this. So, let's lose this booster. Oops. And this. And this. There we go. And we're going to lose that monopropellant tank because it is doing absolutely nothing for me. We're going to take this oxygen tank stick it up front here it has 11 days of oxygen what does this do oh this just changes it to different gases no oxygen I think is definitely the right one there oh uh, that should be good okay so let get us a bigger batter booster actually what I wanted to now we'll keep it the way it is so let's get ourselves a better booster so this is my biggest booster the this guy here and we should hopefully be able to get you into orbit with this yeah we'll go with this all right what do you think bill let's do this thing launch all right, we'll open up our KOS terminal. Uh, whoops. Copy in our launch program. Run, launch. We are in the inclination of zero. We're going to aim for an apoapsis of. You know what? Let's aim for an apoapsis of 75 kilometers. Try and I really do think uh, re-entry heating is going to be an issue. <laughs> that I think is going to be an issue more than anything else. Oh, we're doing a roll. That's okay. Must be just the orientation of the sled that is responsible for that roll. It was actually in there upside down. And if you've been following my career mode, if this all works, Bill will be. Actually, Bill's already. If you've been following my career mode, I haven't even put a Kerbal in space yet. Uh, so, Bill has not only already been in space and came back safely, Bill might be my first Kerbal into orbit. Of course, I am cheating a little bit because the oxygen tank, I'm pretty sure I have not unlocked yet. Oh, speaking of which, let's keep an eye on Bill, make sure he is... What? Okay, I'm confused. This must be a different script. Okay. Okay. Uh... Wow. Okay. Um... Yeah. I got distracted there. Bill, no, no warnings yet. Uh, this must not be my my same script I have in my career mode because my uh, my launch script takes care of staging in my career mode. This one clearly didn't. Hopefully, we'll be okay anyway. Keep track of my apoapsis. So I have to stage. Should be okay. happy. What a bit of a glitchiness. Um, that is the texture replacer. Specifically, I think it's the reflections they put on the helmets that cause that sort of facial glitchiness. I'm pretty sure if I turn off the reflections on the helmets, this will disappear. Hopefully that's not bothering people too much.
Wow, I am actually... Well, no, 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 we're getting a lot of speed here. Okay. Yeah, no, 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 we're okay. We're okay, we're okay, we're okay. Oh, I gotta hang on to the engine for a deorbit. <laughs> Don't forget that. I believe Bill is upside down, so why don't we... Oh, wait, our program's not finished yet. I don't have control. Okay, yeah, this is definitely an old launch script of mine, but I think it did the job. We will roll Bill, like so. The fairing is very, very hot. <laughs> You can see the wheels just peeking out here too. I didn't do a very good job of it's locky on program right there, Bill. Alright. Um I think we should be able to just barely get an orbit. Let's lose the fairing. Okay, we're still here. We're still here. Excellent. What's that little warning on about? Oh, oxygen levels are low. Yeah, that's okay. We only have 10% of our oxygen left. Um, but that's enough for two days and four hours, so... Bill is fine. <laughs> oh, this is stupid. Alright. So we just want to barely get an orbit. And we're going to do one orbit and we're going to come back. And we're not even going to really do a full orbit. Because we'll be descending before we're all the way around. So it, like, I think I've already, I already mentioned this as a, a Yuri Gagarin orbit. Because actually Yuri Gagarin was... Yuri Gagarin's orbit wasn't really a complete orbit as in he wasn't in space the entire time uh, on his trip around the planet but we're not going to hold that against them obviously <laughs> the other thing we're not allowed to do that Yuri Gagarin did is Yuri Gagarin's capsule was actually designed you bailed through an ejection seat you actually didn't the crack the capsule crashed and you ba and the pilot bailed and used a parachute to descend to the surface. Bill is uh, I, that I will not consider a success. I thought I had tons of delta v, but I actually I think I'm gonna make it all right. But it's not like I have tons. Okay, there we go. That's an orbit. Bill is in orbit. Bill seems to be doing fine. So we shall go around. And we'll have to just eyeball this the best we can. And we'll see how this goes. Oh, you know what? I'm going to count. <laughs> Being landing on the runway with this is going to be entirely too ambitious. But. Oh, there are trajectories. There we go. It's not really predicting it accurately because of. I'm going to call that. What's my periapsis at? Oh, let's go a little more. Okay, I'm going to call it there. Because I never did set it up. I gotta figure out how to set up. I don't see a. Um, you can set up so that you're. I'm gonna go in with a pretty high angle of attack. And you, you usually set up trajectories. Oh, wait, there's trajectories there. Isn't that trajectories? There's trajectories. Okay, so it's working. Okay. I just wasn't seeing the button for whatever reason. But you can set it up for what your descent's going to be like, which I did not do. It's assuming I'm going in with an angle of attack of 180 degrees. In other words, I'm going in backwards, which I'm not. But I'm going to lose that. We are now 
purely a glider. Yeah. Turn this way. Go this way. And this is where I think things are going to be very sketchy. Here, turn Bill's lights on. Can't Bill turn on his lights? No, we're not going to do that. Okay. This, I think, is going to be the sketchy part because I think the heating on these landing gear in particular are going to be problematic. But we'll see how it goes. Maybe everything will be fine. And aim for the water, you know, past the KSC. I don't want to go slamming into any mountains or anything. Oh, Bill, look at you. You are a rock star, Bill. <laughs> All right, come back. Oh, somebody's hot. Is that Bill this hot? Is that Bill this hot? Don't tell me Bill's hot. It's probably the command seat. Ah, dearie dear. Okay, let's let's watch this. Okay, here that is the forward landing gear. I I guess that was going to be a problem, but I don't like the fact that Bill. It's either Bill or the command seat is looking kind of toasty. I'm not so sure about that. Oh dear. We're definitely overshooting the KSC, but actually, that's fine. I'm very, very comfortable with that. I don't know. This is slowing down. We're cooling off now. There's no more. and We're losing. This one's going down. We've lost the ones at the back. The seat's not. I, oh, my gosh. I think, uh, I think we're going to be fine. Kind of shocking. Man, now I would love to turn around. Here. <laughs> now, 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 now we're doing something silly. But I want to completely stall this. I'm not getting back to the KSC under any circumstances. But this went much, much more easily than I thought it would. I thought this was being stupid. Well, it is stupid, let's face it, but it is working. <laughs> we have lost all of our temperature gauges. We are now below the speed of sound. You know what I need to do, of course, is I need to uh, see if I can put this on the runway. I think that should be... Now that this works so spectacularly well... I think that's what we need to do, is put that on the runway. And I'm surprised, this is exactly the same glider that I used in my career mode. I didn't do anything other than add that oxygen tank. I think that's, I think that's really funny. So it was coming down, I really wasn't thinking too much about where I was going to land. I was more concerned about thermal properties, so I was really sort of protecting Bill, <laughs> I think was my primary authority and our issue but I and and trying to protect these landing gear too but I I really think I can come down more aggressive than I did I'm just gonna have to flare up just here at the end flare up a bit Bill slow yourselves down for splashdown beautiful well let's give this another go All right, that is the forward landing gear. That is Bill's seat. That happened last time. And we were able to pull through it. Slow down a little bit. Yeah, I think I'm I think I am coming short this time, aren't I? Oh yeah, we are well coming short. Oh, now we're getting re-entry heating. Isn't that interesting? Last time this didn't happen at all. And now we are getting re-entry heating. Wow. <laughs> Bill doesn't care. Come on. 
And last time we got none of these heating effects. I think because I came in so shallow and was so cautious. And he did all his slowing down. A lot of his slowing down in the upper atmosphere. We must be going faster lower down right now. We are losing speed quickly, so I think we're going to come short of the runway. That's okay. Again, though, despite this, and despite all the temperature gauges, nothing is close to blowing up. But, uh,. I think it's pretty clear we're not going to make the runway. It's so hard to judge this. This thing is so light. I think it slows yeah, down like more quickly than I'm like used to. Yeah, so what I think I'm going to do is uh, I did a quick save just before doing the descent burn. I think I'm going to do the exact same descent burn and just try this again, but with a shallower uh, entry angle as we come into the atmosphere. Keep checking trajectories. I'm not sure if I'm extending. Whoa, don't want to pitch downwards, silly. There. Am I extending this? Maybe. Yeah, I definitely am. I'm moving that cross this way. So let's keep your pitch low. Oh, oh, here we go. Bill's getting the hot seat again. We can extend this glide. I'll watch it from here. See if we can push that cross to the KSC. I should keep an eye on re Yeah, yeah. Bill's he seat is warm. Bill's feeling toasty. It's just like the seat warmers in your car. You know what I mean? It's a comfortable feeling. Space is cold and it's keeping us tushy warm. Okay, we are through that. Come on, stall it, stall it, stall it. We got a lot of altitude. We are going for the runway, going for the runway. Trajectory saying, trajectory saying we're coming short. I don't believe you. I do not believe you. Oh my gosh. What do you think? I think this looks good. I think this warrants another quick save. Could have just really messed myself up though if I come short. I don't think so. Still 14 kilometers above the surface. Oh wait, I'm still in. Take the. <laughs> <laughs> so why is this thing so twitchy? Oh, frick, I think I am going to come short. I think I'm going to come just short. And likely because I had that speed. I had the uh, time warp on. So my movements were really jumpy. Oh, 450 meters above the surface. Coming down to 40. Two meters per second on velocity. Um, Bill, extend that glide. Oh, do not want to stall. Oh, that's going to be so close. Oh my god, only just 26 meters per second on... Ah, no! Come on, Bill! Ah, no, we're going to come... Maybe we can just drive on to... No, we're falling more than anything. Oh, okay. We're going to go back. Going back. I think the approach was fine. I think that approach was absolutely fine. The execution left something to be desired. Okay, we are now... Oh yeah, oh yeah. 
We have it. We got this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Here we go. Okay, just watch your altitude. 250 meters. Coming over the runway just lovely doubly. Okay. Get ready to sort of flare up here at the end. And touch. Whoop, there we go. Awesome, Bill. There we go. So that's it. That stupid little rocket plane with the addition of a little oxygen for Bill and an extra battery. Easily capable of an orbit and a landing back on the runway on the KSC. <laughs> Join us again next week for another Sandbox Saturday. But in the meantime, I thank you for watching and hope to see you again next time.